says flip it, take it, loosen, thank you, all right, tight, praise God, praise God, praise God, come on, come on, rotate, it says again, praise God, praise God, there you go, rotate, there we go. Praise God, praise God. Come one, come all. Uh, I bring every last one of you out there pleasant greetings to the mighty and the most powerful name of God. His name is Yeshua, and he loves you. And this special edition that I bring to you today, um, it is because of the anointing of the Holy Spirit that is upon my life. And I'm going to read the word to you before... I go any further. Father, in the name of Jesus, we are the sheep of your pasture. We're the ones that seek your face. We're the ones that come to you in time of storm, in time of dedication to our children, in time of marriage, in time of death. There is a time for everything, Lord, and right now, this message that you've given to me to give to your people, to your children. We're sons and daughters of the Most High, all of us, be we black, white, whatever your nationality or your race is, we serve but one God. I pray now as I read your word, Lord God, that your people will hear you and not hear Jerry Thompson because it's not about me. But I come too to hear your word to rejoice and be glad in it. Father, teach us your ways and help us to hold on to you no matter what we go through. These blessings we ask in your name and everybody say, Amen. I want to welcome you to Vision of Truth Outreach Ministry. This is yours truly evangelist, Jerry Thompson, Gerald Thompson. Uh, social media wants us to use our real names now, so... I'm trying to cross over from Jer Evangelist Jerry Thompson to Gerald Thompson. Praise God. And I think I'm of age to carry such a big name. Uh, Gerald is a, uh, a, a, a powerful name. There are great leaders, prime ministers, president, Gerald Ford. There are so many. And I thank God that his love is sufficient to keep us all. I just want you to tune in and to know that Vision of Truth Outreach Ministry, truly, and I humbly say this, it is a ministry where, where nobody becomes a somebody. And in Christ, we are somebody because of him, because of his blessing, because of his creating us in his image. And I'm thankful that I can stand on his podium, his place that I may at times feel unworthy. But if God said it, I'm going to do it. And my faith says, God says I can be all things and do all things through Christ who strengthens me and makes me whole. The scripture that I'm about to bring to you today is the word of God. It is not watered down, nor is there anything added to it, nor anything should be taken from it. The word of God is true. It is the only book on God's earth that is without reproach. Whether you reproach it or not, it remains true. And I thank God for that. Because in times like these, we truly, truly need a Savior. In times like these, we need the Word of God. I want you to turn to me, if you have, turn with me to your Bibles, uh, if you may. Uh, we're going to be doing some singing in a minute, in a few minutes. I'm going to be doing some dedication uh, of some folks, some special um, uh, requests, uh, some songs to some wonderful and special people. I'm going to be announcing and praying and also celebrating a song to the frontline workers, all frontline workers. I want to call them out. You know, I, um, I had a beautiful, my agent, um, Hyacinth from Hyacinth Production called me the other day and I did a dedication with a young lady that um, was distraught and uh, uh, she, I sent, uh, she called and asked for my CDs and I sent them to her. Two months later, she's not received them yet. 
And she says, Evangelist Thompson, if you could just sing these two songs for me. And one of them was Try On. And uh, I sang it for her. And as a result of that, I sent for my sin production call and made the, the same request. And then other folks who have been... Uh, who's been watching my broadcast are also calling and making requests for their songs. And I also, I'm allowing and saying every last one of you, as many of you as I can sing for one-on-one, -on -one, calling your name in the song or before the song, I will dedicate each song because you know what? If that's going to cheer you up and make you know how special you are, and that is a servant of God that God has sent me to specially reach out and touch you, touch your life. Hallelujah! In the name of Jesus, I want you to know that you are special. You are unique. You're well made. And I want you to understand that. Because if I didn't believe that, I couldn't bring it to you. I couldn't bring this to you. This message would be null and void. But in my spirit, I believe that Jesus saves, he keeps, he sanctifies, and he fills. And he is filling me up with the word so I can pour it out into you. For those of you who are weak, he said, help them to be strong. For those of you who are lost, he says, preach my word that they may be found. And this is what I'm doing. And the scripture is taken from John chapter 10 and verse 22 to 30. And it reads thus, and it was a, it was at Jerusalem, the feast of the dedication, and it was winter. And Jesus walked in to the temple in Solomon, in Solomon porch. Then came the Jews round about him and said unto him, How long do you make us to doubt? How long do you make us to doubt? You understand the Jews are strong and powerful, mighty and influential people. They're powerful in all walks of life, commerce. They control so many different elements in the community that if one Jew injustice is done to them and they lock everything down, the whole commerce can cease as we know it. And they came and said to him, how long do you make us to doubt if thou art the Christ Tell us plainly, simply, just, just tell us, do you say you are the Christ or do you not? Mm, my God, Jesus answered them and said, I told you and you believe not. The works that I do in my father's name they bear witness of me. You were sick and I fed you. You were lost and I found you. You were blind and I made you see. But yet you believe not. But listen to all you who are unbelievers out there. But you believe not because you are not of my sheep. Do you believe in God today? Do you believe in God today? Do you believe in God today? Could it be because you've not surrendered your heart, soul, body, and mind to Christ? And his ways. Surrender now. I will stop all of this. If you call in right now. And said I want to give my life. 
to the Lord. I will stop. I'm supposed to sing, supposed to make many announcements, supposed to do all kinds of things and have a great time. But I will move aside the party that I have planned, the fun that I have planned, just for one soul. Just for one soul. Just for one soul. You know why? Because Jesus sacrificed his life for you and for me. So come to the waters and stand by my side. You drink from the fountain. You won't be denied. I have count every tear that fell in darkness when you cry and I hope to remind you to remind you it was for those tears that he died come on now will you come will you come will you come and say Reverend Thompson Evangelist Thompson I want to be in the Lamb's Book of Life. I take my Christian faith in God seriously. In spite of the problems I'm having. In spite of my ups and downs. In spite of my faults. In spite of my problems. Come to the waters and stand by my side. You drink from the fountain. You won't be denied. I have count every tear that fell in darkness when you cried. When you cried. You know the problem I'm talking about? The ones that you don't want nobody to know about? When you cry. You know the ones that make you be ashamed and you can't even utter it? When you cry. And I hope. To remind you, to remind you, it was for those tears I died. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And they said to him, and Jesus said, but you believe not because you are not of my sheep. As I said unto you, my sheep. My sheep hears my voice. Do you hear the voice today of God? As I represent him, it is only my voice that he uses. But his words are the compelling submission to him. These are his words. Not mine, but thine, O God. Least I be found sleeping. A little sleep, a little slumber. Don't sleep today. Oh, Jesus, my sheep hears my voice. My sheep hears my voice. And I know them. God knows if you're for real today. God knows if you're pretending. God knows if you're faking it. There's an old saying, fake it till you make it. It's a devil's lie. You just be real. Be broken. Come to him with truth. And you shall be free. You shall be set free. Because his word cannot be a lie. His word cannot go void. Hallelujah. I know them. And they follow me. Says the Lord. And verse 28 said. And I give unto them eternal life which man out there or woman can give you eternal life I remember when I put my gun down and the bad boys came to me and said yo Jerry we want you back out there man I looked at them and I said if you can give me life when they kill me I will come back 
then they say, what are you talking about, Jerry? We got your back, man. What you talk? Yo, we are many. We are legions, brethren. Enough gun about the place. Forgive the patwa. Enough gun man about the place. For back you. And I said, what about Dodos? We're dead. He had lots. What about, I'm not going to say Dodos. Dodos is still alive. I'm going to say, what about, hmm, I wonder if I can call him in here, Bull by Johnson. What about Bolo? He's gone like popcorn. Where were you to back him up? He was a done man. He was a done. He was a leader. Did you save his life? Did you cover his back? Were you there for him? So shut your mouth, man. Stop talk foolishness. Stop messing up the young boy in them head. Stop messing up the young boy's head. Tell him about you got their back. You got their back what? You don't even have your own back. Come to the waters and stand by my side. Whoo! You drink from the fountain, you won't be denied. God will save you, and when he save you, he will keep you. And when he keep you, he will sanctify you. When he sanctify you, he will fill you. The blood of Jesus. Oh my God. And they shall never perish. Though you were dead, yet shall ye live. Before his word should go void, heaven and earth shall pass away. What gangster can give you that? What parliamental body of government can give you that? What anybody, riches and toll, can give you that? Hey, my God, and they shall, shall is a command. They shall never perish, never perish, but shall have everlasting life. It is appointed unto man once to die. We all must die. But choose how you live. So when you die, you die with dignity, integrity. You die with pride and knowing that you are proud to be born again. Many live and they act as if they will never die. And many die. And they died as if they have never lived. My God. Yes. You will tell me to be reconnecting. Social media reconnecting. You can mess with the why and the fire. You can do with everything. But God have this. The body is a temple. So you can cut in and cut out. Folks. For those of you who understand what I'm talking about. I'm going a little bit deeper. Because every time I try to trick social media, Saturdays I'm doing lots of pre-recorded because the enemy has fighting to keep me out of social media. Why? Because of the truth. Because I am free and I want you to be free. Free from the gun, free from the drugs, free from the pimping, free from the wrongdoing, free from the stealing, the lying, the cheating. Many things I may share with you, you may not like. Boy, how can Brother Jerry say he's a man of God and him say he love woman? I don't love man, I love woman. And I'm proud of it. And I pray every day. And I seek counsel from higher men in higher places because certain things you can't talk in social media. People laugh at you and say, Chop, he's no Christian. I say to you, I'm a better man than I was 29 years ago. I may not be who God wants me to be yet. But I'm not what I used to be. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And it's God that saves. It's him that keeps. It's him that sanctifies. And it's him that fills. And he forgives. <laughs> Woo. Hallelujah. Hope you're going to sing later. Be sweet. Woo. He forgives. He forgives people like Jerry Thompson. He forgives whores. He forgives prostitutes. He forgives murderers. He forgives backbiters. He forgives 
hypocrites. Aye. His word cannot go void. And they shall never perish, he said. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. Or watch out. Word of God tells me that it is better for you to hang a millstone about your neck and fall in the deepest pit than to touch one of my own, even that which you do to the least of them. Jerry Thompson, who love woman, who every day pray and say, God, I pray that I may not have a congregation because I would not find myself worthy. Because I don't know which one I might end up going home with. I'm not a married man. And I said, Lord, that's why many ministers may not even invite me to church because they hear say, I love woman. Thank God I love woman. Because I know some of them may not this in you no know, pastor. But maybe me, me, me know someone who love man. And when man love man, me know my me pray for you. Me pray for you. I will pray for you, man of God, because I'm not judging you. I don't know what kept you and led you to be in that place. But I am glad me love a man. I am glad I'm born again. And I'm glad that truth set me free. Many, many men call me who are gay. And I pray for them. Of course I pray for them. I can't cut against them. I cut against them. I might as well cut against myself. There's no size in sin. There's no... The man that fool around with many women and the man that is gay is the same sin. I don't say that. The Bible said that. And if I say I believe in the Bible, I have to serve God. <laughs> and that's why I love him. Because God is a fool for me. He's going to be fool for the gay. He's going to be fool for the lesbian. He's going to be fool for the whoremonger. He's going to be fool for the prostitute. He's going to be a fool. I love my Jesus. You know why? Because only Jesus can forgive us of our sins. Born in sin. Shape in iniquity. And in sin did my mother conceive me. So the very epitome of man is to sin. Natural nature is to do wrong. Lie, cheat, uh, everything. Anything to save them one life. The other day I told you about me having, thinking I have, thought I experienced the corona in about what was it? December, January. And I went through so much man I would have smoked a big spliff. A big joint. Reefer, ganja in front of a police officer because I felt so bad I would have done anything to get a fix. Now I understand when these guys are are being tortured, how why they talk. I could never be a, a secret agent. Because once they start pulling out your toenails and your live teeth and start use ham and breaking your knee, I would talk, I would uh, trust me. I would I would talk until trust me. I thank God that he saved me because when I was out there in the world involving guns and crime, I didn't inform on anybody. But maybe God kept me because he knew anyhow I was punished severely. I would have talked all women or no. I would have spoken even when I didn't know. Anything they want to hear me say, I would have said it. Because the pain that I felt when I was experiencing that coronavirus, to see that God help me, oh God, hallelujah. Jesus. Jesus. Life is good because I can breathe. Life is wonderful because I live to ask for forgiveness. Life is wonderful. Wait until your turn comes. Wait till you have to face the devil. Face the devil. Whatever your devil is, whatever your Satan is, wait till you have to face him. You will see why you would talk. You would see why I appreciate that Jesus saved me even when I didn't think I was worthy of being saved. That corona hit me so hard. I couldn't lie down. I couldn't sleep. I couldn't stand up. I'm miserable. I'm getting all kinds of feelings I've never had in my entire life. Never. Never. I told you I would have smoked ganja in front of a police officer. Quickly, happily go into prison with joy in my heart. 
knowing that at least they had something to save me. But I didn't have to. Come to the waters and stand by my side, Jesus, and drink from the fountain. You won't be denied. I have count, I have count every tear that fell in darkness when you cried. And I hope to remind you, show them to understand Jesus, have mercy. Listen to me. My Father, which gave them to me. Jesus said, my Father, who is God Almighty, who bears witness, not wickedness, witness to Jesus Christ, the Son of God, said, my Father gave them to me, mankind. He was wounded for Jerry Thompson foolishness. He was bruised for my nastiness. My transgression. Oh my God. The chastisement, Lord, the amount of beating God take for me. Every time one of you come to hit me, every time one hit me, lick me down, me bounce right back. What a hard man he did. Boy, <laughs> they take me up, they lick me down. <laughs> the police come knock me door, me a fret. I'll let me down do anything. When police come at your door 12 times for the year, you don't even want to hear a knock knock by any type of door. No type of door. You, when you hear the door knock, you pray to God all we say is, Lord, what now? What now? Take away my children, them, they look a pick me, them. Tell me, show me DNA says not yours after raising them for 12 years. Go to court. Can't even get a DNA on one. Yes, and that you get for love, woman. Because if you throw it out there, you have to look after them, even when them is not yours. Yes, I am guilty, guilty as charged. But thank God Almighty for forgiveness. Thank God Almighty for Jesus Christ. Thank God Almighty that there's a place called the cross of Calvary. Hey! Hey! My God! Forgiveness is powerful. Forgiveness is awesome. Forgiveness is hope. Forgiveness is power. Oh my God. Jesus, thank you for using this old vessel, oh God. Thank you, oh God. My Father which gave them to me greater than all. He, God, is greater than all. He's bigger than all my problems. He's bigger than all my fears. He's bigger than all the questions that I can or cannot see. Oh my God Almighty. I love you, Jesus. You give me home, son. You know me, God, son. You make me function. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And no man is able. Ha, say it with me. No man. Let me hear you say, type it in. Text it to me. No man. I'm going to stop and wait until you text it. No man. Say it with me. No man. No woman. No human being. No man. No woman. No man. Text it. Let me see it. Hallelujah. Give God the glory. Give him the glory. If he no send me up on him pulpit, me not going. Me respect him too much. Me fear him too much. Especially when you know say, certain little things no right. You know what I'm talking about. I wonder if somebody can talk to me. Me can't hear the him in them. Forgive me with the pat white bus out sometime. I come from Jamaica, please. Yes, visit America and Canada and so on. But God is good. I'm excited and I'm happy because none of you like me or don't like me can touch me when it comes to my salvation. Hey, hey, you can't take a foot, you can't take a hand. But my salvation is mine and Jesus. Me and Jesus 
Got a good thing going, me and Jesus. Got it all worked out, me and Jesus. Got a good thing going. I don't need anybody to tell me what it's all about. Jesus, when I was down, Jesus lived me up. When I was down, he saved me. When I was down, Jesus lived me up. I ain't need nobody to tell me what it's all about. Listen to me. Listen to me now. Come on. And no man is able to pluck. You know, like how you pluck chicken. Poof, poof, poof. When you want chicken to pluck the feathers quick, as soon as you kill them, throw hot water on them. Pluck, pluck, pluck. No man will be able to pluck you up anymore. The police come, I no longer fear. When the bad man come, I no longer fear. When the liar and the hypocrite and the backbiter come, I no longer fear. When the false accusers come, I no longer when the people who comes to me to tell me the truth because I share certain secrets with them or me and them do a certain things and it don't work out and they come and tell me, I no longer fear because Jesus will fix it if I continue having faith in him. God is able. Jesus has given me a free ticket to heaven. What did I say? Jesus. See, God not giving you that. Because God cannot look at sin. God condemns sin. But Jesus said, Father, I know this one. Give them to me. That's why Jesus must sit at the right hand of the Father in the time of judgment. Because what God would condemn, Jesus save, Jesus keep, Jesus sanctify, Jesus fills, Jesus forgives. In the name of Jesus, pluck them out of my father's hands. And no man is able to pluck them out of my father's hand. I and my father are one. Jesus have mercy. I'm going to make that so key in a little bit. Mm -mm. But if Jesus can, God can look at sin, condemn sin, how can you be one with the man called God who you came in the form of man as a God to dwell among flesh that is why Jesus has been given by God the full control for us to judge us so yes correctly you don't deserve to go in no foul lots of us plenty of us but because of Jesus because because Oh, Jesus, let me find a song in my spirit. God, let me find a song in my spirit. It was going to be Tryon, but it's not Tryon again. Praise God. Hallelujah. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, I'm going to continue to minister. Turn on the other one as the enemy tried to hold me back. I love this. We didn't have everything ready for them. Music ready to play. Everything ready. And the enemy takes that we have about. One day I will show you about nine phones, five, six different boom box because I got a fight the devil me not stopping because when i was out there as a bad man i would take i would take a plane to go visit a girl just to have like a sex with her for the night so now me have home shan and i'm a gum shan god forgive me and set me on fire me not stopping satan you're a liar you're dangerous i used to work for you i used to work for you 
And when I was out there being bad, I was good at it. Now me I work for God, I want to be better. Better must come one day. Better must come. And if I have to sing a cappella today, I'm going to sing a cappella. No matter what happens, I'm not giving up because he didn't give up on me. Take time out for Jesus. He took the time out for you. He took the time to die on the cross. So all sin sick souls wouldn't be lost. If you find yourself slipping, the thing to do, take time out for Jesus. He took the time out for you. Now ramp with me, God. Now ramp with my God. Don't ramp with my God. Satan, you can't catch me again. You hold me down for a very long time. I wanted to go, but you wouldn't let me go. But now I am free. You come running after me. I'm going to be like a sucker punch, a bar, a lick. Mama, dad, which one you want? Mike Tyson, which one? Satan, you're done. You look big. You talk big. You puff up. You come in like, like fried dumpling. Puff up. I love dumplings, so don't mind me. You understand? My analogy is them. You understand? Him just puff up, so look big. Like, like when rooster cock them tail and go so. Like when cock cock them tail. And I look big, but I want a little head. You just have a ping in the head and say, go ahead. I rebuke you, Satan, in the name of Jesus. I plead the blood against you. I plead the blood against you. I plead the blood, the blood, the blood. The blood cleanse. The blood pass it all understand it. I don't know sorrow. What? I am a winner by choice. You think I am here because me skillful as a bad man? I am here because God is skillful in saving bad man. In reaching them down into them heart and soul. Make them pull on them gun and stop the whole of killing. The senseless killing. All over the world now, not just Jamaica again. Every day in Brampton, Toronto, Canada here, pipe pipe, bam, gonna fire like firecracker. We have to wake up, church. We have to wake up, Christian people. This is not a time to sleep. Don't be thinking because you still have a job, you're all right. You're not all right. Look to the ones who have lost their job. Ask them a few questions if they're all right. Ask some of them who's retired why they're still freed. There is fear going on. And fear don't come from God. Fear come from man. Anything that is man made. Fearful. But when God make you. And God did make you. Fear not. God made you. But man make all these things. And make you be fearful of them. And then put them in front of you. And say you better be afraid or else. Or else. Remember something. If you are a slave master. And you have no slaves to work for you. There is no master. He's useless. Because what you can do, the master can't do. What God has called us to do is because we are his children. The sheep of his pasture. So why fear that which is made by man? Fear God and serve him. Fear God and love him. Fear God and walk with him. My God, man. Hear me, man. Road boy, put on the gun, man. Every gun man that I know, every bad man that I know to road, every one of them that was the best, them dead, and they never get to enjoy their money. Some of them in high places, some of them in low places, some of them right among you. And not one of them, but you know what they get to die and say? Yeah, man, you know Man, me own that house, you know, about nine houses me have. I know one damn man had 35 kids him have. Don't remember all their names. Didn't grow to look after any of them, many of them. Done, leaders. And if you're going to lead me to hell, don't come to me, man. Because I can do that on my own. Lead me to a place where I can say I'm proud to be a follower of you. But if it's going to be a death and damnation and hostility and murderation, leave me alone, man. I can do that on my own. I can, I, can, I can mess up on my own. I'm tired of hearing all the empty promises. You're going to do this for me. You're going to do that for me. Yeah. And then you give it to me today and you take it back tomorrow. Or you send somebody privately to go and take it back. Don't be deceived anymore. Young boys, call me, man. Make we talk. 
Let me talk. There's some things that I can't speak on air. But you all know what I'm talking about because I know someone who watch me. Or who call me regular. Let's talk, young guys. Come on. Your mother didn't come this far to see you die before her. Please, my passion is to get the guns off the street. So forgive me because I know the damage I've done. I see the damage I've done. I know the power I've done. I'm going to kill people. Killing good people, killing children, killing innocent people, bystanders like you, your kids, your, your, your grandchildren, and so on and so forth. But with this corona going on right now, to know that God actually saved me from it, I am happy. But I learned a lesson. I learned to appreciate the breath that I breathe. I learned to appreciate the fact that my mind is sound. I learn to appreciate the fact that I have a ground that I can walk on. I learn to appreciate that I have shoes on my feet. As the world looks upon me, as I travel along, they say I have nothing. But they are so wrong. You gave me your love, Lord, and a fine family. Thank you, Lord, for your blessings on me. You know, as a Caribbean Jamaican, we chop up the song them sometimes. Please don't forgive me. I learned from my grandmother. She would sing all five songs in one. And when she don't know the words, she just hummed them. So I give God thanks that his spirit is upon my body. Yes, my little body, the mess up body, the one that nobody don't want. Or the one that some want, I mean, I'll give them. Whatever. They, it, me glad that God like it. And him say it's the temple. And if I would just do my best to keep it clean, he will do the rest. Hallelujah. Woo! That gave me excitement, man. Because, you know, all of us don't have the strength to overcome the enemy at all times. But God, Christ Jesus, who strengthens me, gives me the power to overcome the enemy. Thank you, Jesus. And the last word in verse 30 said, And I and my Father are one. So, God may not be able to look at sin. God condemns sin. But when he sent his only begotten son, that was the crown jewel for me. Because I can sit here now and don't even say a word. And I have so much happiness in me that it bubbling, 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 bubbling. I feel so good. I am double bubble. And I am out of trouble. And if he be dead right now, hallelujah to Jesus, I can say, It is well with my soul. It is well. It is well with my soul. When peace like a river Tendeth my way. Oh God, I thank you. I truly know what it is to have the Holy Spirit upon me. Whatever it is that I have inside of me, God, the goodness that you have given me, please, Jesus, if it's even one out there, to feel what you allow me to feel, the way you hug me, the way you just make me feel special, that the tears that fall, I cry for nothing, but I know it's for something. Because I know I could have been dead so many times. Gun in my face, jump through a window, all kind of things, people looking for me to kill me. And now I don't hide. I hide in the broad, open wide. Open, giving my all to you. I pray that one soul, if one, my God, one more Jesus would come to you as a result of your word 
that you have used this body to speak, then I can say, thank you, Lord, for using me. Thank you, Lord, for making me whole. Because when I reach a lost soul, I know that I have use. I know that you're using me and it's an indication to say that I'm on the right track. It's an indication to say when that young man called and said, Jerry, I'm calling you from Trinidad and your testimony for the last two years, I've been playing your testimony. Why I put on the gun to my gun, man, friends. And they allow me to come in even though I don't live like that anymore. And share the word with them. When I hear these things, oh God, I said, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't know that I could be of so much use. I didn't. I didn't know, God, forgive me. I thank you for using me to sing when I never took a lesson of singing lesson, to minister the word when I didn't go to Bible college, to read when it's because of me caring about a teacher who did not threaten me or did not push me who sat with me and had the patience to say, Jerry, we're here for you anytime you're ready to learn to read. And because I saw this man stayed after school with me to teach me how to read, I started to read every sign I see as I ride the bus go home, the stop signs, the names of the streets as I pass the signs. Then I realized that other people love me for me in spite of me not knowing how to read and at times i look back and there are some words in the word of god that i may not be able to pronounce but the fact that i'm reading i'm proud the fact that i can bring the word of god to you makes me so happy I'm not afraid of making mistakes anymore because God is with me. And if God be for me, no one can be against me. I thank him for such love, humility, and happiness. Truly, happiness. I have some folks and some dedication I needed to sing some songs that I was going to dedicate to some folks and let them know that they are all so special. The special division of Truth Outreach Ministry. One young lady called, she said, me and my husband has been listening to you for years and we've never heard your testimony. And when we sat and listened to your testimony, tears came to our eyes. We want to join your ministry. We want to find out how we can help because you've touched our lives and we didn't even realize that the greatest work that you've ever done, we've never heard it, but yet you've touched us so deeply. You've made our life happy together as a husband and wife. We share you. And to see, she said, it, to see my husband crying because of the gospel of Jesus Christ, it filled her heart. Because she realized she has the right husband. She has the right man. How many of you have cried with your spouse? How many of you have held each other's hands and said, let's pray? Or, honey, I thank you for being here, sharing the gospel with me, even though I know you'd prefer to be out playing dominoes or out there with your buddies. How many? She was so pleased. I want to sing the song, and, and, and however it may go, let me hold this. Uh, I'm going to try and set the, the Wi-Fi um, on again, hopefully. Turn on the other one for me. Praise God. Hallelujah. 
I'm going to try and do the dedication. These are awesome stories. Uh, I think you do, you would want to stick around for these because they are great. Is it on? Did you turn it on? Praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Oh, it's showing that it's not. Just press the, the um, you know, there's a star button on the end of it there so that it will pick up, hopefully. Praise God. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your love. Thank you. Thank you, oh God. There we go. Praise God. You're going to join in the name of Jesus. Come on now. In the name of Jesus, I plead the blood. Amen. The blood works. Hallelujah. I heard the right sound. You know, all of you say the right sound. I, there's something about sound when you hear the right sound, when you hear the name of Jesus, when you hear his name. Hallelujah. Okay, this song, I'm going to sing I'm Glad to Be Home Again uh, to especially uh, to a wonderful young lady and her husband and her family. This is a song that I wrote and it sort of... Uh, celebrates my coming home like the prodigal son i once was lost but now i'm found and the holy spirit helped me to write this song to celebrate my coming home to jesus because he's my savior and this is to marcia in ja god bless you god bless you you and your husband um she's out there now she ordered a whole lot of cds and she says men of god i'm gonna give them away uh, that's how I'm going to help you in your ministry. And I gave her the CDs at half price because I need to replenish them and buy them back in order to give them. So if any of you are out there who are blessed by this ministry and the Holy Spirit is touching you, don't do it unless it's the Holy Spirit, please, because your blessing comes from God, not from me. I'm already getting my blessing, so don't, uh, don't do it unless you know that the Holy Spirit said, you know what? I can buy 50 CDs. They're normally $11. Uh, I sell them for $5. So when you purchase, you can just make your orders at uh, visionoftruthtv uh, at gmail.com, visionoftruthtv at gmail.com, or call me on my WhatsApp at 647-972-2121. Place your orders, and I'll send them out to you at half price, as long as you're going to give them away. All right? I will pay for the shipping and handling. Okay, so because uh, I, I want you to know that the gospel to win one soul, that's a blessing. It's a blessing. Praise God. So uh, to Maxine and no, Marcia, to Marcia and family in Jamaica. Thank you for joining Vision of Truth Outreach Ministry. Thank you for making those purchases of all those CDs. They should be uh, uh, shipped to you soon. They've been sent out. I know you'll receive them. And for all the folks who are watching in Jamaica, you can get your CDs if you choose to be a part of this in reaching out to the community to make the, a better community, getting the testimony out into the community to help get the guns off the street all over the world. Lots, I have over 4,000 CDs, 8,000 CDs in Jamaica, nine different titles, nine different titles and three different DVDs. So call that number. Uh, even when I'm off here, 647-972-2121, say, Reverend Thompson, I want to be a part of this. If it's even two CD, I want to know that I take it. Christmas is coming too, and there's Christmas after this one, that you can always give a good gift, something different. You may save a life. I'm serious. I have testimonies that uh, proves that these CDs have saved lives. Police officers use them in their training for their young officers, and so on and so forth. Gang leaders uh, have brought me in to pray for them. They blindfold me and I pray for them. I've washed their feet because the Holy Spirit uh, teaches me how to be humble, to show them that God loves them this much. I wash gangsters' feet, yes. And all leaders, everyone who has the power over life and death, who is in a leader position, I will wash your feet because leaders are guided, should be guided by God. And your foot guides you to your future, to your destiny. It's very important for you to understand that. So every last person out there who is in a leadership role, 
Yes, I will wash your feet because you will receive a special blessing when I do that. Because God has anointed my hand. Take with a gun and he gave me the word of God. John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but shall have everlasting life. So, my sister Marcia, God bless you and your family. I'm glad to be home again. And this I sing for you. Praise God. Turn it up there for me. I'm glad to be home. to Vision of Truth. We're happy to have you as a member and as someone that has devoted their life to help me to reach lost souls. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, I want us to have a phone meeting one day, you and your husband, and we can meet up. We can share the word. We can pray together. And just at the end of the year, I pray that uh, this Corona thing will start helping us that I can travel so I could come down to Jamaica and circle the 14 parishes with you in putting down the gun campaign. I'm hoping to do this uh, by February of next year. All of you who are out there would like to donate towards that cause, that's fine. You can just uh, email me at uh, visionoftruthtv at gmail.com and uh, send your money in and I will also put your name on roll call to show how many people has actually donated and how much was donated. And believe you me, I am not the one that needs your money. Your money goes to helping people. God has already blessed me. I thank him for that. I don't have to beg a soul. And there are many people out there that are saying, Brother Jerry, I know you've spent a lot of money doing your ministry. This is for you. It's not for the ministry. This is for you. Buy a shirt. <laughs> My sister, you know what I'm talking about. My brother, you know what I'm talking about. I, I, when people 
when you all give me something to buy something, I buy it what you ask me to buy, and I wear it with pride, and I'm proud of it, and I take care of it, and I wear it till it don't have a bottom if it's a shoes, or whatever it is, because I thank God that there's so much love out there. Because when you see me come bursting with love, it's because you're all giving me love, all right? Don't think that it's coming from my well. It's from the well of all of us together. Together we can. There is power in strength, in unity. We must continue this love so that the world will know that God doesn't live up there or in here. He lives all among us, all around us. That's who God is. The next song to be dedicated also, we have Dion. You know who you are, girl. You know who you are. Uh, there is a, okay, let me see. In the sweet, no, in the sweet by and by. Amazing Grace. You know who you are, Dion. May God bless you, honey. You are this important that God is telling me that I must call your name and stop what I'm doing to sing Dion a song. Praise God. And this song, is amazing grace. I wish you could turn up higher. I do, I do. Try your best. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a rich like the ark. Oh, how she wants was lost, but now the honest found she was blind, but now she sees. Was grace the taught the art now to see? Oh, how precious that grace of beyond, beyond first belief. When we, when we've been there ten thousand years, bright shine. Praise his name. Praise God. Then we have uh, Hyacinth. She wants try on, but that's going to be like ha, ta, 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 ta. So I'll do a few other slow songs first because try on is a very, very heighty, heighty, and hot song. Let me sip some of this water. Mm. Oh, beautiful Eula. Eula, all I can say is. Thank God for you. There was a part of me that used to doubt, and I'm, I'm being honest right now, um, because I was brought up in the church as a young man, and I was taught about, you know, if you do everything that's right and trust God and believe in Him, everything will be okay. And if you stay away from sin and stay away from wrongs and study and do all of that, and I remember 30 years ago when I surrendered my life to Christ, the hardest time that I had was with church folks and in church. And even mighty powerful leaders who really uh, suppressed me. They just, they just, and I, I did my best to, to just be a yes man person because you know, when you just get saved, you want the teachings from the best and you go to the, the best people, the wisest ones that you look up to and you know, I can never forget this wonderful man of God by the name of Brother Moses. Um, and, and it's not the Moses in the Bible, but he, he loves God. He, he really 
could be Moses because he knows the word of God and he was a teacher. He, he, he didn't have any accolades, not, no, nothing behind his name other than his name, Moses, the Seventh-day Adventist man. And he, he taught me a lot how to love God in spite of what you believe. That's an oxymoron. That's why I want you to think about that. Brother Moses taught me. He doesn't even know this. Taught me how to love God in spite of what I believe. Wow. How can you love God in spite of what you believe? Well, you see the doubts that you have? You see those things that you don't tell nobody? That's what I'm talking about. Step over that and say, God, I love you anyway. I think it's 2 Corinthians 4 and verses 8, one of my favorite. We are troubled on every side. We're cast down but not destroyed. We're perplexed but not forsaken. Bearing the dying of the Lord Jesus. Love him because he died for you. That's good enough. And in loving him, he says, furthermore, keep my commandments. Because when you love somebody, you don't hurt them. And when you hurt, Jesus hurt. That's why he was wounded. When you hurt, it hurts him. That's why he said, touch not my anointed, nor do my prophets no harm. Because when one of us is hurt, he hurts. But people who hurt also hurt people. People who are hurt, hurt people. And this is where Brother Moses taught me, in spite of what the church, who you see the church to be, we usually look at our leaders, doctors of divinity, pastors, bishops, so on and so forth, as the church, because they bring the word to us, they empower us through the word of God. But you must stop looking at the man and look at the word that the man brings to you. That's where you get your empowerment. And this is what Brother Moses was able to teach me, that Jerry, he's a man. He's a woman. It's flesh and blood like everybody else. They make mistakes. They defecate. They, they, they shower. They, they do everything like everybody else. So they make mistakes too. So why are you angry with the church because of what a man has done to you or a woman? You're wrong. Love God in spite of that. And then there was the other part of me questioning my faith in God in respect to the Bible, the very Word of God, I was also doubting. Because the Word of God tells you in it, if you do not believe the truth, you shall so believe the lie. Wow, that's deep. Now I have to differentiate what truth is and what the lie is in the Word of God. But the, the Word of God also tells you that if any man adds to the Word of God, it is, it is a sin. It is, it is an abomination unto God. If any man takes away from the Word of God, it too is the same. It is wrong. But then here comes man, the Queen of England, the Queen of England, a man, quote, as in, not in gender, but human, has the right to rewrite the Word of God. To rewrite the terminology, the old book from the Apocrypha to, 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 to the New Testament, to the New King James Version, the NIV, and so on and so forth. And, and I said, Lord, eh, the more I learn about your word is the less I realize I know. Wow. 
Knowledge is power. Is it? Is it really? What kind of power? Power to destruction of oneself? Or power to control others? Or power to save souls? To save souls? To save souls? I had to fight with that for so long. Years and fighting and fighting. But what I did do is I pressed on because of what Brother Moses taught me. I pressed on the upward way. Each day I gained. I gained humility. I wasn't so judgmental. I wasn't so angry anymore. I wasn't so upset with that person that I would say, but he says he's a bishop. But he says he's a this. But he said he's a that or she's a this. No, you can't do that. Then you're not concerned about your salvation. You're concerned about how everybody else acts to look like they're saved, even if they're not. And that's not your job. That's not your place. God wants to save you. There's been an occupation position uh, for someone to occupy for the last 2,000 years. No one has filled it yet. He says, be perfect as I am perfect. Well, pointing at somebody ain't going to make you no better than you are. Judging somebody, even judging yourself, ain't going to make you better than you are. What you can learn, the first thing is to do is to forgive. Learn how to forgive. The second thing is how to love. Because love is what sustains you when you forgive. And one might say, that's easy for you to say, Jerry. Oh, really? You think it's easy for me to say? I don't want to keep bringing this up, but the most heaviest experience I've ever had is not really me carrying a gun and being a pimp, having many women work for me and giving me their money from prostitution. But my heaviest experience was knowing that I lost my virginity to my mama, to my mother. Yeah, my biological mother. And I've learned to forgive. And I'm not, I've never ever said who she is. I will never say her name. But everybody has a mother. And it's only those who are close to me knew who my mother is. The same people I tried to cry to and went to, and they, they, they rejected me because my mother is a super wonderful, beautiful human being. I remember taking a, a plane to go, to go and hurt somebody because I heard that they put their hand on my mother. I wanted to slap my mother, but I couldn't because I was taught the right way. Honor your mother and father. So your days may be long upon this earth, and I've honored it. Maybe that's why I, I, I'm 59 years old, and I thank God. I didn't even think I'd reach 30. Because the way I was living was, 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 was terrible. But what I'm trying to say to you, in all of this and what's going on, we must have faith in God. In spite of our emotions, in spite of our circumstances, in spite of our situation, in spite of what we've experienced in life. The excuses that we have why we are who we are, why we are what we are. That's not good enough. No, because God created you in His image. God knew you were special. So be special. Be special. Just give Him a chance. And he will make you special. If you lie down in your own wallow, in your own blood and mess and so on, how is he going to turn you around? You've got to turn your mess into a message. Wake up. Now let me find another song. This is to Eula. I'm going to sing a song for you, honey. I pray that I can't stop. Let me see. Hold on. Sweet spirit, that is a long, beautiful one. Praise God. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you for your wonderful anointing. Thank you. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Come on. He knew me. There we go. Praise God. This is for you, Eula. This is for you. Turn it up as much as it can go. <clears throat> It's too rough. Hold on. Let me get let me get another one. Praise God. I love this. Folks, if you're enjoying yourself, give me a shout. Come on, say something. All right, wherever you are. Come on. 
I'll call that number, 647-972-2121. You have no excuse why you can't call that number. It's my WhatsApp number. I know it's going to interrupt the phone, but at least send me a text message, something. All right, let me know you're out there and you're listening. Also, email me at visionoftruthtv at gmail.com. Visionoftruthtv at gmail.com. All right, please to do that. As I go down to look at the song for, for Eula, my awesome and most wonderful uh, friend, a wonderful and an awesome human being that has taught me a lot because what God is using her to do is beyond my understanding. And she's reached out to me as my friend and I love her so much. I'll go on top of the CN Tower, the highest building in the world, and tell the world that. Mount Everest, yes. I'm so proud of her. Uh, it's an honor that I've come to know a person like this before I leave this world because I'm still trying to figure it out. But God has already told me it's all about him. It's not about me. And this is exactly what she would want to. She, a matter of fact, she don't want me to tell her name. She don't want me to even call her name, but I love you. And when we do good in this world, nobody knows about it. And I know what is done in secret. God will bless you openly. But we need more testimonies of more Eulas. We need more testimonies of more Marcia. We need more testimonies of more Myris. We need more testimony of Miss uh, Vinette, uh, Marie, uh, David. And the list goes on and on and on. We need more testimony of positive people in a negative society. We need to stop hiding under the bushel. If you are a light, it's time to come out and shine right now. Know the Lord. Get to know God for yourself. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm going to find the track. Hmm. Let's see what this one is. It is no secret. That's it. It's an high. interview oh. with God. It's all right. Come in, God said. So you would like to interview. The chimes of well, time. Lord, if you have the time. Now smiled the and news said, My time is eternity. Day and it is, is enough to do everything. What questions do you have in mind to ask me? And fell. Well, Lord, first of oh, all, I'd like to know what surprises you most you about mankind. God answered, that they get bored for in church. And they're also in a rush to grow up. To read and then long to be children again, and that they lose their health to make money, for and then lose their money to restore their health. You. That by thinking anxiously about the future, they forget the present, and that they live neither for the present nor for the future, and that they live as if they will never die, and they die as if they had never lived. With God's wide open, and we were silent he will for a while, you. and then I asked, as a parent, Lord, what are some of life's lessons you want your children to learn? God replied with a smile. To learn that they cannot make anyone love them. No what they can do is to let themselves be loved. You will never to learn that what is most valuable is not what they have in their lives, so always but who they have in their lives. Home. To learn that it is not good to compare themselves to others. All will be judged individually no on their own merits, not as a group on a comparison God basis. Is on your side. To learn that a rich person is not the one who has the most, but is no the one who needs the least. To learn that it only takes a few seconds to open profound rooms in people we love and that it takes many many years to heal them oh hallelujah what he has done for others 
he will do for you. Praise God. With arms wide open. This is for you. As I was playing there just now, I felt in my spirit that somebody needs to hear this song again. This time, it is a song that I did. I have never done it live performance, apart from when I did it in the studio. But these words, I want you to hear it just in the words as I play it again. I'm gonna be silent. An interview with God. Come in, God said. So you would like to interview me? Well, Lord, if you have the time. God smiled and said, My time is eternity, and it is enough to do everything. What questions do you have in mind to ask me? Well, Lord, first of all, I'd like to know what surprises you most about mankind? God answered that they get bored of being children and they're also in a rush to grow up and then long to be children again and that they lose their health to make money and then lose their money to restore their health. That by thinking anxiously about the future, they forget the present and that they live neither for the present nor for the future and that they live as if they will never die and they die as if they had never lived. God's hands took mine and we were silent for a while and then I asked as a parent, Lord, what are some of life's lessons you want your children to learn? God replied with a smile, to learn that they cannot make anyone love them. What they can do is to let themselves be loved. To learn that what is most valuable is not what they have in their lives, but who they have in their lives. To learn that it is not good to compare themselves to others. All will be judged individually on their own merits, not as a group on a comparison basis. To learn that a rich person is not the one who has the most, but is the one who needs the least. To learn that it only takes a few seconds to open profound wounds in people we love and that it takes many, many years to heal them. Oh, hallelujah. What he has done for others, he will do for you. Praise God. One foundation. All these wonderful special it is no There's going to be more to come. The time is right now. I was a child. Praise God. It is no secret. God, glory to God. 
I know somebody's out there getting blessed right now. I feel somebody out there just weeping, full of tears. But remember something, joy come in the morning. The, feel, the feelings that you're having right now, it's the anointing of the Holy Spirit. You're going to sleep like a baby tonight. You're going to rejoice tonight. You're going to, Jesus is going to hug you. His angels are going to hold you and keep you. You're going to be secure. The Holy Spirit is upon you. I want you to know that. I want you to know that God loves you so much that he has reached out and has allowed this song to play back for you, for you, for you. This is about you and the cross of Jesus. Praise God. In going forward, there were many prayer requests that came out. Marie, there's a situation uh, a court situation and uh, I have that on prayer on my prayer list I want you to know that I am I have been praying for you I know what your um, family member has been going through I don't want to say anything specific or his name because it's not about who it is so somebody can say oh my gosh and her, her, you know, her family's in court, or no, there's a lot of Marie's out there, so I'm keeping it very uh, open. Uh, we have uh, Norma, okay, she also uh, uh, needs prayer. Um, uh, I want to thank God for you, also. Uh, Norma's going through some things right now, and she's just asking for prayer, and I'm praying for you, Norma. God loves you, I can't judge you. And, Things that you've spoken to me, it is confidential. Um, I will not um, divulge it in any way. Uh, I don't judge you. You are a wonderful and a beautiful human being. And, uh, you know, when we're not given much to work with in life and we end up in a certain position where we're embarrassed, I don't think, I think the worst thing you can do is to stay in it. Just step out of it. Just step out of it and... and, and Put it behind you the best way you can, as I have, and I thank God for that. It takes a lot of strength, it takes a lot of faith, and a lot of courage, but I am praying for you. Uh, uh, Kioma, uh, I want you to know that God loves you, and um, you do send me a lot of text messages, and so on and so forth. You and your baby is going to be fine, and your baby is going to be fine. Uh, you just got to keep on having faith in God, because... When people pull you up and help you, they're the same ones that may come back and pull you down. So don't ever be desperate where you're going to be fighting and thinking, you know, uh, because the father is not there for your baby, that you need to get another man because that might be more destructive. Uh, um, love for the right reason. Love in the right way. Choose a partner in the right way. Don't choose it because you need help to take care of your child. Our prayers are with you and whatever love offerings that comes in because I've mentioned these names sometimes people send a love offering and say give it to Kion um, she is working she's trying her best but at times when she comes home you know um, she feels that she's not giving the best care to her baby and uh, she have needs that the money that she works is not enough um, so there's always short, always short, just trying to keep up. You know, uh, the baby looks wonderful, looks healthy. So I want you to know that it's not a children's need situation, social service uh, situation. Uh, uh, we have someone here with a no name and uh, they are, uh, I have to share some of these with you because I have people who call and they just tell me uh, some heavy stuff. Some of them send naked pictures. Some of them, uh, some of them are even men. You know, um, I'm not judging. Um, I'm praying for you. Whatever leads you, or, or all of you, to be in that position, I know what it is because I was out there as a pimp. So I'm, I'm not. None of these things surprise me. But to Christians, they would be like, "Wow," you know, and, and so on. You know, and I know what a penis look like. I have one. So you don't need to do those. You don't need to send me uh, or anything like. Fact that you you love older men, um, I don't know if I should say thank you for that. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I want to stay young, <laughs> you 
but I'm praying for you all I, you know you need you need you need God in times like these because I'm, 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 you get attacks on every direction spiritually there are some yes I will say this there are some that I do lose battles but that's between me and God I've come to realize that because sometimes they said you know you can't serve two masters I'm serving God and I'm walking towards the cross and the storms that comes distract me slow me down but it won't stop me it won't stop me because I now know that my aim is to serve God until I die because of the joy that he brings to me because I believe in salvation because I believe that he can change people because I am change I represent change and it's for the better you don't have to worry about me as a gunman or hiring young boys to come kill you or, or doing all kinds of things I'm serving God and this is if this is if this is wrong then I never want to be right I want to serve God till I die we have a family uh, that has two sons uh, that are in prison. I'm also praying with you. I've been praying with you. And uh, I was proud of the mother last week that uh, called me and said the prayer was, uh, was a blessing. Her son was uh, let out of jail and he, his charges were dropped. I thank God for that. So prayer does work, folks. It does work. If you want prayer, call um, 647 nine seven two twenty one twenty one or email me at vision of truth tv at gmail.com and more than anything please if you're watching this broadcast and if you do nothing else for me please to subscribe to my broadcast at vision of truth tv.com that's my youtube station and when you go on this this is telling me how many of you are watching out there and when i see you subscribing I am also going to be starting in about a month's time. And it, depending on how many of you call in and say, Reverend Thompson, I want to come. It's basically church online. Uh, what's the name of it that they call it? Uh, the, the, the broadcast? The, uh, Zoom. Ah, it's a Zoom. I believe there's about 100 people that can watch it at a time live where you could interact with me. I can talk to you. I can say, can I get an amen? And I can hear you say amen or when I'm ministering. A lot of you are out there saying hallelujah, praise the Lord. A lot of you are out there crying and so on and so forth. I need to be blessed also to know that I'm reaching you in the sense that if I see you online with me, I know that I'm not alone. I know that it's just not me and God out here making noise that I want you to be a part of Vision of Truth Outreach Ministry. Yes, there's only 100 people um, allowed on there, but please send me your email, text me, or call my number and say, yes, Reverend Thompson, as soon as that Zoom starts, send me your, send me the information, and I want to be the first one that's on there, and uh, uh, the first person that's going to be on there, as a matter of fact, I'll send them uh, the testimony of my CD, a testimony free of charge. I just get your information and I, and I want you to all come and encourage people. It's going to be full, so make sure that you get your spot because I can't, I can't hold more than 100. And it's going to be on Sundays for all you folks who can't go to church or are not going to church as a result of the coronavirus. I want you to please come on there and let's enjoy God together. I, I long to enjoy y'all. I long to feel the energy from people instead of me talking. I'm in a room here. It's empty. I have one person working the camera, and I'm just talking to a bunch of phones, about five or six phones right now. That's all I'm doing. So you know how much energy, how sweet would it be to see 100 people in front of me, and when I say, can I have an amen, and knowing that we can actually express and even sing songs together, and not be endangering any lives. Isn't that wonderful? You know what I'm saying? So remember, real winners can never quit. And quitters can never win. I want to see you all there. It's going to be Sunday morning, 12 o'clock, starting, I believe, the first of next month. So please, if I don't see all those folks come and they don't fill up with the 100, I'm not starting until the 100 comes. And if the 100 comes before that, then I'm going to start. All right, so sending your 
uh, uh, your messages, call the number, uh, your emails, Vision of Truth TV at gmail.com and say, Reverend Thompson, I want to be a part of this ministry because I'm blessed by you and by what God is doing in your life. And this is what I'm asking. Now, going out, I want to acknowledge the nurses out there, frontline, Hyacinth Production. I, I love you. I respect you. I love the work that you're doing. I remember telling you this 12 years ago that you're going to be doing more than what a nurse is called to do. And you're the one that called me and said, Reverend Thompson, you, are, you could never be more right because right now she's going beyond her duty to try to save lives. And trust me, as they see each other dying around them, it's a scary job because there's more nurses dying than anybody else on front line. So it's not a job that you're doing for money because no money is enough to give up your life. So I give all the respect and the love and the adoration and prayer to every last frontline person, uh, police officers, security guards, everybody, the young, young people who are the teachers out there, and, and, and the, the, even the, the, the cross guards, the ones that hold up the sign for the kids to cross in the school, every last frontline person, I will never stop praying for you all. This song is dedicated to every last one of you, and it's entitled, Try On. Let me see, Lord, if I can find it. Try on, try on. It's a song that I wrote many years ago. It was uh, trying to encourage myself. And as the Holy Spirit gave it to me, I sing it to the people. And now I had the opportunity of singing it in the White House with Pastor Terry Lee, who's doing an awesome job in there to uh, pray to the nations. We went to Washington, D.C. when Obama was in, President Obama was in power. And I had the opportunity and the privilege of singing this original song at the White House. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is dedicated to all uh, frontline folks out there. And this is going to be the song going out. So, after this, bye. I love y'all. And remember, please to subscribe to visionoftruthtv.com. And all you wonderful folks who want to be a part of the living live audience for me to minister to you and with you so we can rejoice together and I can feel the energy and the love. That's so important to me. I will see you there. Please do subscribe as well as call the number and send me on social media, Facebook. Just let me know. Send me your information that you're going to be on there to send you the information on YouTube. Please to send me also that information on there because we're already hooked up to social media. I'm going to try to get Instagram, Twitter, and all those other ones sorted out because they've hacked it and take it from me. I'm going to fight for it, all right? You all help me fight. Try on. Praise God. All right. Where are you? Yeehaw. Come on. Every day we hear the news on the radio. All the awful conflicts in many a country. Summer fighting here and summer fighting there. I said all, all the same, all civil liberty. We should try on just a little.
police officers, all the ones out there on the front line, God bless you. May you press on with this song and keep the faith, because without God, we're nothing. If we all follow, 